Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. If you are looking for class 9 social studies notes of revised syllabus 2022, then you are on the right platform and watching the right video. As in this video, we are going to discuss class 9, history chapter, the Ahom dynasty, the Mughals and the Marathas question and answers. This video is going to provide you all the question and answers of this chapter and it's going to be very informative and helpful for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other lessons notes of class 9 social studies and of English subject, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link where you'll find all the videos containing notes of English and social studies. The link will also be shared in the i button above. So now let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Now let's start with the first main, fill in the blanks. First one, the founder of Ahom dynasty was Dash. Answer is Sukapa. Next, the founder of the Mughal dynasty was Dash. Answer is Babur. Next. The famous emperor among the Mughals was Dash. Answer is Akbar. Next, the king who built the Taj Mahal at Agra was Dash. Answer is Shah Jahan. Next, the Mughal emperor who established the new religion, Deen e Ilahi, was Dash. Answer is Akbar. Next, Shivaji's mother was Dash. Answer is Jijabai. So here we finish with fill in the blanks. Now let's move to question answers. And the first question is write briefly important achievements of Ahom dynasty. Answer Ahom was founded in 1228 by Sukapa. Their early capital was Tiroidoi. By 1300, Khaljis of Delhi attacked Ahom's but were defeated and driven away. Ahoms defeated Tughlaqs and Elmashrahi army in 1350. By the end of 15th century, Lodis were also defeated by Ahoms. Later, the Sultans of Bengal also met their defeat by Ahoms. So these were the achievements of Ahom dynasty. Next question. Describe the military achievements of Babur. Answer. Babur laid the foundation of the Mughal Empire in India by his conquests. In 1526 AD, Babur was invited by Dalit Khan to defeat Ibrahim Lodi. Delhi was his capital. Over a period of four years, he defeated Rana Sangram Singh of Mewar, the Rajput king. Medini Raya of Chanderi and Ibrahim Lodi's brother Muhammad Lodi. Babur conquered Panipat, Gogra and Kanwa. He established Mughal rule over North India. So these were the military achievements of Babur. Now next question. Compare and contrast the present day administrative system with that of Ser Shah. Answer. Sher Shah was an able administrator. His administrative reforms are notable. The present administrative system in India has adopted many aspects of Sher Shah's system. First is central and provincial administration. He divided his vast empire into different sarkars. Sarkars into paraganas and paraganas into villages. The present-day Indian administrative system has adopted the system of decentralization. Next is land revenue system. In those days, land revenue was the major source of revenue. In addition to land revenue, many other revenue sources were in force. But today, we are getting more income from other sources rather than land revenue. Next is police administration. Sher Shah introduced the police system to look after internal law and order and to maintain peace. 
Even today we are having good police force to maintain law and order to lead a peaceful life. Next, Rhodes. He was the first emperor who understood the importance of national highway. The present government of India is giving more importance to transport and communication. Next point is religious policy. Though he was a Muslim, he was tolerant of other religions. The present Indian constitution declared that India is a secular state. So here we see the comparison of Sher Shah's administration and the present day administration. So let's move to the next one now. What are the areas won by Akbar? Answer. Akbar was a great conqueror. At the age of 14, with the help of his commander, Bairam Khan, he defeated Hemu in second battle of Panipat and conquered Delhi. With his mighty army, Akbar conquered Malwa, Jaipur, Gondavan, Chittor, Ranathambur, Kalinjar, Gujarat and Bengal. In the battle of Haldighat, Akbar fought against Rana Pratap Singh. With his famous generals, Man Singh and Asaf Khan, he defeated Rana Pratap Singh. Kashmir, Sindh, Odisha, Baluchistan, Kandahar and Ahmednagar provinces were conquered by Akbar. Thus, Akbar became the emperor of entire North India. Next, describe the contributions of Shah Jahan to art and architecture. Answer. Shah Jahan can be called the prince among the builders. He was responsible for constructing many buildings. He constructed the Taj Mahal at Agra. This is built in pure white marble in memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Begum. Moti Masjid was built by him. A big fort in red stone called Red Fort was built by Shah Jahan at Delhi. He was the man who engraved a beautiful throne which was called Mayura Simhasana. He was a famous builder and his age can be called Golden Age of Mughal Art and Architecture. Next question. Describe Shivaji's system of administration. Answer. Shivaji had organized an efficient administrative system in his vast kingdom. He had divided his kingdom into many provinces. They were called Swaraj and Mughal areas. Marathi was the language of administration. There were ministers known as Ashtapradhan in the central government to assist the king. Under revenue system, Shivaji's system of revenue collection was like quarry system, favorable to farmers. He abolished the Jahagir revenue system. The tax was collected in the form of money or material, Chot of the land tax and Sardesh Mukhi of the land tax were the types of land taxation which were in practice. Next question. Explain the achievements of Bajirao 1. Answer, Bajirawan was an unparalleled warrior. He expanded his kingdom by conquering Gujarat and Malwa. He also conquered Salsit and Basin from Portuguese and Zanzira from Siddhis. Pune became his administrative center. Bajirawan not only ruled with efficiency, but also re-established the glory of Maratha Empire. Hence, he was called Shivaji the two. So with this question and answers, we come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope these answers were informative and helpful for you all. If you found the video informative and helpful and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.